Today's video, we're going to take a look at the retro collection Boba Fett Morak from season two of The Mandalorian. These uh, retro figures, the whole wave is hitting really hard in the United States right now. Um, I picked up the full wave, but this is the only one that I got an extra one to open because I really enjoyed the, uh, the look of Boba Fett from the series. This is our first three and three quarter version of Boba Fett from season two of The Mandalorian, beating the vintage collection, which is really surprising. We got the book of Boba Fett um, vintage collection, but we haven't gotten the Mandalorian season two version yet. The card art is really nice, though I do not like the stickers and I have been working on peeling it off just in, uh, you know, boredom cards are still flimsy. There are no pictures of the other wave on the, the rest of the wave on the back, but there is a description of everyone. Alright, so let's open them up and see how he looks. Okay, so here's the figure got a nice nod to the original um, vintage 1979 Boba Fett with the jetpack and the rocket. It is not removable, but it is reminiscent of the rocket firing uh, Fett. You got five points of articulation. As you would expect from a vintage style figure. Paint is very simple, again, like you would expect. And the sculpt is very, again, simple. But it is a nice rendition of his costume from season two of The Mandalorian. You've got his sidearm, which is a a nice new weapon in the vintage style and his rifle which again is uh, very reminiscent of the, the vintage style but it is the newer version from the show it's really cool so let's see how they fit so holds the weapons really well the Left hand is a little loose, as you may have noticed when I put the figure down. His blaster dropped a little. So that one's a little loose, but let's see how it does with the rifle, which has a slightly thicker handle. And it does seem to hold on well. So it's not necessarily the hands, but it does appear to be that perhaps it was designed for the pistol to go in his right hand and the rifle in the left it does seem to, to grip it a little better. Um, which would make sense because the holster is on his right. Now, you're not going to get a bunch of crazy poses because it is a figure that is inspired by the vintage figures of the 70s and 80s. But he will stand, he can look, and he can sit. All right, so really quick and easy review as you know, it's a pretty simple figure, but it's really cool. I really like the retro line that they've been doing. Um, I am a tad disappointed that we have gotten two straight lines of uh, figures based off of the Mandalorian instead of continuing. You know, we got the A New Hope line to start with and then the Empire Strikes Back line, which has an excellent Boba Fett in that. But um, I'm, I'm dying for that Return of the Jedi line uh, that you, you suppose has got to be coming at some point, but instead for the past two waves of these, uh, it's been based off the Mandalorian, which is really cool that they're doing figures like this and Ahsoka um, you know, in a, a vintage classic Kenner style um, but I, I do want that Jedi line as for this one though, I'm very happy with it, it's really cool looking I'm gonna put him in with uh, my slave one 
even though it's the vintage collection. It'll still look cool with him in the, the cockpit. But um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. It's a simple figure. They're 10 bucks, which is a, a little high. Um, but they're hitting stores really heavy right now. So Walmart and Target, go check them out. Should be able to pick it up. Please like and subscribe. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. Love it, hate it. I will respond. And, uh, you know, everybody's entitled to their opinion. I particularly love it. But, all right, thanks. Have a good one.